But I'm just here mainly to talk about uh, what this flag movement means to me, and I guess uh, Kim has touched mostly on what uh, I wanted to say, but um, most of you at the vigil, uh, that were there at the vigil, I did share that for the longest of time, I wasn't really proud to carry my flag, uh, to just openly say, yeah, yes, I'm Zimbabwean, because not only is the flag a bit trippy and triggery, because, I mean, the government has those colors, it, just, it was just mostly the government flag, you know, and um, for the longest of times, I really wasn't, I disassociated myself with the country. And I realized that there's a difference between being, there's a difference between being proud of where you come from and, um, let, and letting that pride be fested by someone else. So I cannot be proud of my country because of the way my government is. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So um, once I learned that, I realized that no, I'm actually Zimbabwean. I'm proudly Zimbabwean. And that was also uh, fueled by Pastor <coughs> E's uh, video. This man is a very brave man. He's a very brave man because it's not it's no secret that in Zimbabwe if you speak out two, three days later you're missing. And if if your family is lucky you could have been maybe involved in a car accident in another country somewhere. You know, if you're lucky. And you know, when I look at it this way is, sometimes I feel a bit upset and guilty with the way we didn't stand with Itai Zamara. It's been over a year now. It's been over a year, we don't know where he is because he was bold enough to stand against the government and we were the cows that didn't stand with him. And I hope and pray that wherever he is, God, I hope he is safe. And I just want to say thank you, Pastor, for doing the work that you've been doing across the country. And I know a lot of people are saying that, oh no, it's the West funding us. If the West is funding me, my bank account would not be 500 something rand. Really, I wouldn't be. I would probably be right. And I should say it's bad. Living in the best days ever. But no, I would be having over 5 gig data in my phone. <laughs> I probably have told you to think about it, but, you know, and as we move forward as Zimbabweans, and I know a lot of people are probably waiting, okay, what's Pastor going to do next? What is he going to say next? What's that? Let's, let's also take the initiative to do something. Let's be proactive also in our protesting. Yes, people may say that, oh no, he's the face, he's the leader, but let's also do our part, our own roles. So if you are in Grahamstown and uh, we want to host a talk, be the leader, drive, and because it's, we can't always wait for someone to do something for us. What happens if Pastor says, actually, now, nah, guys, I'm done, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? You know, like, we have a voice now. Let's use our voice. And there is strength in numbers. We can, we're not trying to subvert a constitutionally, constitutionally elected government. <laughs> we're not. We are just saying that we're tired of corruption. I'm tired of being called a Gwere Gwere or a Tambo. I'm tired! Yeah. I spent over a year not going home because I didn't have a visa. And I had to stay here, no family to have Christmas with because I didn't have a, if I leave the country, I get banned. I'm tired of Googling, okay, what are the job options in Canada? Maybe, you know, because they take me serious, they might just take me. No! <laughs> to make Zimbabwe a better place and don't <coughs> let them divide us. Like, it, it's true, divide, divide and rule, they're just doing all this whole Sean and Devil thing, ah, white, black yeah. thing. We are all affected by the same crap government. Yeah. Yeah. We all are hungry, we all don't know right now as it is. Some of us haven't paid fees, where's the money gonna come from if they're intro just introducing bond notes? Mm. How are we gonna pay fees? You know, we're all affected by this. Let's all stand together and pray and hope for a better Zimbabwe and fight for a better Zimbabwe. Mm. Thank you. Thank you.